welcome friends welcome to my youtube channel in yet another video and this is going to be a video on different subject before i move ahead i request you to subscribe my channel like it and give your valuable comments the topic of today's video is 10 steps to grow in the field of hvac i come from hvac background and i thought this experience or these some of the important principles most of them are related to mind are very critical to grow in the field of hvac one thing i wish to clear here is that we can get lot of technical learnings which is very very important and extremely important from many areas uh, you can learn you can be technically sound but if you really want to go and get to the higher position in your career you another important part has to be the mindset and i'm going to touch more on that with my experience in the field of hvac and mep this video would be more important or valuable to the people who are already in the hvc field and who want to make career in this nation building stream so let's start what are those 10 steps we are going to look at one by one step 1 is always passion and you must have seen most of my presentation the first slide always is on passion one must love this profession or this field don't just get into this field because of sake of it it's very important that you must love what do you do or what you wish to do if if you love that job if you love that profession i think you will be one notch higher than anybody else because that one passion will make you different from others and that's what i feel is a step one before you get into this field this field is not a white collar kind of field it has both and wherever you wish to do your career in the field because the field is very vast you must love what activity you are going to do or what role you are going to play in this field robin sharma said passion plus production is equal to performance so both has to come this three p's please remember before you start anywhere or if you are already in the field then start loving that field step 2 is don't wait for a perfect moment to start most of the people who wish to only work for this company or that company or they will wait that i will get this offer or i will get this salary package then only i'll start i said don't wait for that start with whatever position you get even in a smaller organizations because it's only you are going to create a difference and if you are that person who can make the difference the salary the position the organization doesn't matter because that will definitely come by it's like sachin tendulkar who was the greatest batsman he focused only on his batting and all fame all money what he or success what he achieved was a by product so it's important to look at this and one of the important quote here is best is the enemy of good so don't wait you can make it perfect when you get in but don't wait for perfect moment to happen you have to make it happen and that's the second step step 3 choose the right function in hvc field there are various opportunities there are various options available there are various functions available you could be a design person you could be execution you must be loving the job to do challenging job at the project site or you are very good sales person you have got personality you have aura a good communication skills or you are you would like to serve the customer for long time that's after sale service safety and and many other options are available choose based on your liking as an I, again i said your personality your liking and my personal recommendation is whatever field you choose to be in first start with project site get that experience of project site it will help you in long run because moment you know what happens exactly at site you will be able to visualize properly you will be able to visualize the problem of customers properly and then in any function you will be able to do a better job and that's my personal suggestion life is a matter of choices and every choice you make makes you so you have to make that choice so you have to make the choice which will make you so step number 4 is slog slog and slog give everything in whatever you do whatever role you choose to play put more than 100% efforts learn learn and learn be a lifelong learner be an expert so that people can call you he is expert in this field he is expert in sales he is expert in design he just gets the job done at site very easily so he should be an expert how do we manage people so we have to learn 
and you have to slog because or there is no substitute for hard work. Put in 100%, put in more than 100%, which will give you compounding results in your journey. Learn continually. There is always one more thing to learn. And that's what Steve Jobs has said. Very important quote for all of us. Step 5. Always keep customer first. It is important to solve the customer problem. And it is important to give the right solution. For that, you have to understand the problem. and be in touch with the customer and give him the confidence that you are giving the right solution. Always do a job with quality and safety and with optimum cost. If you are working for a contractor, HVAC contractor, cost plays an important role. But we do, can't ignore the quality and safety because without that, you will not get repeat jobs and your business will go for cost. Everything starts with the customer and that's what June Martin has said. Step number six, treat associate fairly. In the field of HVAC, there is hardly any physical work which anyone does. It's always the associates, the vendors and the subcontractors and a lot, a lot of other stakeholders who help you to get the job done. So it is important that we treat those, those people, those stakeholders the way we want us to get treated from customer. Very important to listen and understand this. That the way we want our customer to treat us, we should be able to treat the same way to our associates. And that's very important because support from all stakeholders is required for success. No one can do the job. So it's important to understand this. You treat your team, you treat your stakeholder, you treat your customer and you get your job done. If you treat people right way, they will treat you 90% of the time. And that's what Franklin Roosevelt has said. Very important quote again with respect to our field. Step 7. Build a team and earn respect. Build the right team. If you find any person is not able to get in, then you have to train him, you have to cajole him, you have to coach him, you have to mentor him. But get the right team so that team will be able to do a job better. Motivate to give 100%. And this is our job as a leader. Once you go up to the ladder of hierarchy in an organization, this is one important thing that if you, if you are not able to build a team, if you are not able to get the output from the team, you are not a great leader. Another important thing is you have to be role model. People see the team member must see you as role model. You have to walk the talk and you have to earn the respect. You cannot force someone to give you respect. You have to earn that respect. And this step number seven is very, very critical for one person to remain stagnant in their career and another person who goes and take leadership jobs or leadership role. This is the only difference which I feel is very, very critical. This step number seven. Please look at it very, very carefully. Great things in business are never done by one person. They are done by a team. Of, they are done by a team of people. And that's very important. Step number eight. Build long-lasting relationships with your team, with your stakeholders, whoever plays a role with the vendors, with your customers, and everyone who is involved. Consultants, architects, PMCs, and other. Don't burn the bridges. Don't take anything at here. Be a professional because this is a very small world. Our world is very small. Sometimes you find a person on the other side in your next project. So don't carry those grudges in your heart, in your mind. It's a very small world. But always give a lot of importance in building the relationship because build relationships can solve any problems in the world which money also cannot solve. So build this because I feel your vendors, your associates, your customers should be your brand ambassador. Should be your brand ambassador that they should be able to tell you that this gentleman has done a good job and I want this gentleman to do my next job. This kind of relationship is very important. Great relationships about two things. First, find out similarities and second, respect the differences. Very important quote again. Improve communication skills. To, now to build Long-lasting relationships, communication plays very important. It's key to success. It's help in building relationship, lasting relationships. So it's very important that the, the kind of word we choose to communicate, think before you speak. Very important. Don't spread rumors. Don't believe in rumors. Give the right message in a concise, transparent and clear way. And Make sure that the communication to the stakeholder is available at right point of time. In their formats, the content has to be properly checked. So communication skills will is another step to make you 
a leader in this field and one of the important fact which i always say listen to others don't just hear we generally listen or i say hear to answer the question before the other side stops speaking we start creating the answer before the other side stops please give attention to what he speaks because it's not only the words the feelings the emotion behind that words have to be understood before we answer or before we make a response it's very important part i feel another important aspect which can help you to grow communication to relationship is like oxygen without it it dies so it's so important you know so important that communication is considered as a oxygen to relationship please improve on this and make sure that you choose right word make sure that you listen to the others and this important quote has given by tony gaskins junior and there are many other things but i thought this 10 steps which should be able to give you some platform before i make another video on the other points believe in process and planning there is no shortcut to success project management process needs to be followed and we cannot just ignore them otherwise you will always start doing fire fighting you will be always in stress there will be complaints there will be a lot of issues and you will not be able to keep your mind cool keeping mind cool is very important for that planning plays very important role planning avoids fire fighting it makes you prepared and it keeps you stress free failing to plan is planning to fail very important quote again by alan lakin and i feel these are the 10 important steps which will help you in small way please start following one important point when i get this picture in football is always played that we played with the game plan and the projects have to be again have to be implemented with the plan without game plan the projects will not be successful so it's similar to football thank you very much for your patient listening please follow me on youtube facebook and linkedin do subscribe my channel and if you wish to look at my journey please read my book the person of your dream available on all this all the platforms like amazon flip flipkart notionpress.com do have a look at that you will get more insights thank you very much for your again patience